From a mysterious cave treasure left by the Vikings to a woman who found a baby dinosaur in her garden, here are 10 of the craziest finds scientists can't explain. Number 10. A Viking Cave Treasure A bizarre discovery in an Irish cave has local archaeologists beyond baffled. Dr. Marion Dowd led an excavation at the Glen Curran Cave in the Burren National Park, and it turned out to be very worthwhile. The archaeologists uncovered a magnificent hoard of Viking treasure, and they can't really explain why or how it got there. As of right now, a precious Viking necklace found inside the cave is the largest of its kind to have ever been found in all of Ireland. The necklace consists of 71 glass beads wrapped in gold foil. It also dates back about 1,150 years. What scientists can't understand is how the necklace and the other treasures came to be hiding inside of such a remote Irish cave. Most archaeological finds in Ireland from the Viking Age aren't nearly this impressive. The necklace alone suggests a high-ranking member of Viking society was buried here, perhaps even someone royal. But what exactly a royal person would have been doing traveling from Scandinavia to Ireland in the late 19th century is unknown. Even more mysterious is that the Vikings never really settled the area. The cave is so remote that it makes no sense for anyone important to be buried there, yet they are. Dr. Dowd said that the cave has been excavated in 2004, 2008, and 2009, and said that she hopes to continue excavations and unravel the mystery, saying it's a labor of love, it's where I spend my holidays. Number 9. Shark Extinction a shocking new study by scientists from Yale University and the College of the Atlantic has unveiled some new tantalizing information about sharks. It turns out that roughly 19 million years before today, there was a huge extinction event involving sharks. Back then, there were about 10 times more sharks swimming in the world's oceans than there are today. But scientists can't actually explain why so many sharks suddenly died. According to Elizabeth Sibbert from Yale's Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences, researchers actually only discovered the extinction event by accident. They were creating a record of fish and sharks going back 85 million years when they suddenly realized there was a large gap in the timeline. In this large gap, they discovered that 70% of the apex predators on Earth vanished without a trace. To put this dramatic extinction into perspective, more sharks died during this event than from the mass extinction 66 million years ago when the asteroid killed the dinosaurs. Adding to the mystery is the fact that there is no known ecosystem disruption or climate calamity that occurred. This interval isn't known for any major changes in Earth's history, said Elizabeth Sibbert, a Hutchinson postdoctoral associate in Yale's Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences and the Yale Institute for Biospheric Studies. She's also the lead author of the new study, which appears in the journal Science, yet it completely transformed the nature of what it means to be a predator living in the open ocean. The shark simply vanished, and scientists can't figure out what happened. Number 8. Lopsided Earth Scientists have made some bizarre discoveries regarding the center of our planet. Earth's core seems to be growing, but only in one direction. Seismologists with the University of California, Berkeley say that the west side of the core is beneath Brazil, while the east side of the core is beneath Indonesia. For some reason, the part beneath Indonesia is growing faster than the other one. What do we mean by the core is growing? It means more iron crystals and a higher volume of material are being added to the core. The core is constantly being shaped thanks to the spinning of the planet and due to gravity. Extra matter is normally made even because of the spinning. The core should be uniform. The problem, though, is it's not. Some of the scientists say it could be heat causing one side of the core to get bigger than the other. However, it's only a theory at this point. Nobody really knows how a malformed core inside of Earth could affect the planet as a whole, but so far it seems gravity is still working as it should. It just so happens that the Earth's core is a little off-center. What do you think this means for the future of our planet? Should we be worried? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. Aliens on Mars Some very strange objects have been found on the surface of the planet Mars, and no one is really sure what exactly they are, but some people have some wild ideas. Depending on who you ask, Mars is basically ripe with alien artifacts. It all began when NASA's Curiosity rover touched down on the planet's dry surface. It immediately began to photograph anomalies. At least, that's what people on the internet are saying. One image appears to show something that looks an awful lot like an old and rusty nail. Another image shows something that kind of looks like a fossilized shoe. Then there's the picture of what looks like some kind of discarded septic tank. This is perhaps the strangest image because nobody knows if it was for sure taken by the rover. But if it was, it really looks like an artificial object left behind by a mysterious civilization that once lived there. Perhaps the weirdest thing is what's being called the Mars Rat. By zooming in on one of the photos sent back to Earth, you can clearly see what looks like a rat scurrying between some rocks. 
Scientists were quick to dismiss this discovery as nothing more than a rat-shaped rock, while others claimed the photo was edited. But depending on who you believe, NASA may have accidentally shown the world that there is indeed life on Mars, and it comes in the form of rats. What do you think? Is there alien life hiding on Mars? Number 6. The Holy Grail The Holy Grail is one of the most coveted relics in history, but is it actually real? The truth is that scientists and historians both aren't really sure what to make of the Holy Grail. According to the legends, it's supposed to be the very cup that Jesus drank from at the Last Supper. It's also the same cup that Joseph of Arimathea used to collect Christ's blood during the crucifixion. The search to find this legendary cup has been going on for thousands and thousands of years. The Grail first appeared back in the earliest tales of King Arthur, it was spoken of by French poets, and it was even hunted by the famous Indiana Jones. The issue is that the existence of Jesus Christ himself is seriously controversial. For the Holy Grail to exist, Jesus Christ himself must also have existed. This is why mainstream scientists don't believe the Grail is real. But there are many others who claim that the Knights Templar stole the Holy Grail from Temple Mount during the Crusades and stashed it away somewhere. It just has yet to be discovered. Number 5. Gobi Stonehenge There's a mysterious collection of stone structures in the middle of the Gobi Desert that some archaeologists have dubbed the Chinese Stonehenge. There are 200 stone structures here that were found back in 2003 for the first time ever, and nobody's really sure what they are or who in the world built them. The formations vary in shape and size, but all resemble the sun. By that, I mean they're all organized in circles, looking like either the sun or the moon. Right now, the best guess archaeologists have is that the stone circles were made by a primitive culture of nomads who worshipped the sun. The stone circles may also have been sites of interest in which human sacrifices were made to their sun deity. There haven't been any human bones found just yet, and nobody knows which nomadic culture this was. Scientists can't even figure out how old the old stone structures are. They know pretty much nothing about them, other than that they're definitely ancient and must have served some kind of sacred ceremonial purpose. Number 4. Ancient Plague In one of the most shocking discoveries of the year, scientists have discovered the oldest strain of plague known to mankind. Yikes! It was discovered inside the ancient bones of a man from the Stone Age dating back 5,000 years, and here is how the story goes. 5,000 years before today, a hunter-gatherer was bitten by a wild rodent, and that wild rodent passed along a strain of bacteria called Yersinia pestis. This is the pathogen which caused the Black Death, also known as the bubonic plague, that wiped out millions in the 1300s. Once infected with the Black Death, the Stone Age man died in his early 20s. This is fascinating because it's the oldest example of a person being infected with the plague. Also, its genome very closely resembles the plague in Europe 4,000 years after. As most of us already know, the bubonic plague killed roughly half the people in Europe over the course of about seven years. But here's what's so mysterious. The ancient plague is missing a few traits that it had later on. It was a slow disease and not really that transmissible. It was missing the parts that made it spread quickly from person to person. It doesn't make sense because it's been believed for quite some time that the plague was very easily passed from one person to the next, which is why so many people died. What scientists need to understand now is how the plague gradually evolved over 4,000 years to become the worst outbreak of disease in all of human history. Number 3. The Unknown Palace A recent drought in Iraq unveiled something quite amazing. Archaeologists found a magnificent palace from the Bronze Age, likely belonging to the long-lost Mitanni Empire that existed in Syria and Anatolia between the years 1500 and 1300 BC. The Mitanni Empire is considered one of the least investigated and most unknown civilizations anywhere in all of the Middle East. Here's where the drought comes in. Archaeological excavations were only possible thanks to the sinking water levels. When the water levels went down, the remains of the ancient palace appeared. It had been completely buried underwater. A team of German archaeologists rushed to Iraq to excavate as much of the site as possible, but they didn't find out all that much before the water levels rose once more and the palace was again submerged, likely to never be properly explored again. Number 2. Mysterious Ancient Shrine In Spain, a mysterious cave has been found filled with unbelievable carvings of curious animals and unknown symbols. Some of the carvings date back 15,000 years to the Stone Age. Experts have referred to the entire cave as being some kind of sacred prehistoric shrine. Some of the cave paintings are fairly simple, displaying things like bulls and horses, but the symbols are a little harder to figure out. The archaeological team involved with the investigation has no clue what they could mean. Even more mysterious is that the cave wasn't in use for very long. All the artwork seems to have been created at around the same time. The cave itself is actually quite large, first discovered in 1853. Parts of it are huge, stretching deep underground. 
It's likely that a tribe of unknown prehistoric men and women lived in the dark confines of the cave before eventually venturing out into the world and forming societies. While dwelling in the cave, they left behind their artwork, including symbols that were probably very important to whatever mysterious religion these ancient people practiced. Number 1. Baby Dinosaur In Florida, a woman claims to have witnessed a baby dinosaur dashing through her yard. This is obviously one of the most outlandish claims a person could make, and the fact that it happened in Florida says a lot. However, if the security footage from cameras mounted outside her house are to be believed, she might just be telling the truth. There could actually be some kind of tiny raptor on the loose, running through the Florida suburbs in the middle of the night under the cover of darkness. The footage of the supposed dinosaur was taken at 3.40 in the morning. According to animal experts, there are no indigenous animals in Florida that even come close to looking like the beast caught on camera. And even if there were, they wouldn't be out in the middle of the night or early in the morning. The only logical conclusion is that someone brought a dinosaur back to life and now it's running free. After Fox News reported the story and the disturbing surveillance footage was posted online, a lot of people came forward with their own theories. Some people said it looks like some kind of lizard, others said it was simply a dog, but the vast majority believe it was either an alien or a baby dinosaur. What do you think? Does Florida have baby dinosaurs? Thanks so much for watching. Out of everything in the video today, what did you think was the most mysterious? Can you explain any of them? Let me know in the comments section down below and don't forget to hit subscribe and come back again for another fantastic video right here on American Eye.